Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I got this crazy story that's once again coming from nutty ass New York, honey. I swear nutty New York has been on a roll in the new year. So anyways, what's going on is that we have a 15 year old girl. Her name is Natalia Jimenez. And basically her and three of her friends decided to start jumping rooftops in Hell's Kitchen. And they had managed to jump across three rooftops and while they were jumping, one of the uh, building managers ended up coming upstairs. They caught the teenagers getting ready to jump and they told them to not jump off the roof. The manager ends up going back downstairs and sure enough, like most teenagers who do not want to listen to adults, Natalia ends up jumping across the roof but she misses her footing and she splats to the ground. This whole situation is just so disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest Good of my evening commentary. Good evening to you, John and Tamsin. Police are still investigating what looks just like a tragic accident. A 15-year-old girl with two 14-year-old friends with her jumping from the rooftops of two buildings here on 10th Avenue. She falls to her death, and now an entire extended family is in mourning. She was a good heart. She came good hearted, friendly. A distraught mother racked with grief just hours after her 15 year old daughter, Natalia Jimenez, fell to her death while jumping across rooftops with two friends Friday afternoon. Her body was found in an alleyway at 699 10th Avenue near 48th Street. Police sources telling PIX11 that a concerned resident told the three girls to leave the roof, and as they turned around to go back, police sources say the 15-year-old plunged to her death. Let's have the police department handle it, okay? We would like some privacy, please. Yeah. Just My granddaughter is the best girl in, 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 in New York. The Mangano Jimenez clan gathered in grief in front of the Chelsea apartment building where Natalia lived with her mother, stepfather, brother, and sister. Her grandfather, Rosalino Mangano, owns a number of original famous raised pizzas, including this one in Chelsea where Natalia and her family lived above the store. And one family friend, Sam, Samuela Ortiz, blasted the concerned resident from 10th Avenue who scared the girls, telling them to get off the roof. She says if that woman had just stayed with the girls as, they, as she called 911, this tragedy might have been averted. We are live. All right, in so you guys just watched the news clip, and a lot of things disturb me with this story. One, I didn't realize that people really did this shit in NYC. I really thought it was just something in the movies. I didn't know that kids did this. And yes, I understand how it is to be a teenager. Once again, teenagers do such stupid things. You know, we've all made mistakes. Lucky for us, we've all, you know, lived to tell about it. But every now and then, teenagers make mistakes where there's no coming back from those mistakes. And this is one of those situations. And while my heart goes out to this girl's family, at the end of the day, I do not agree with the family and the news trying to blame the person who went up to the roof. For them to say that had the woman went up there to the roof and stayed with them and then called 911 to make sure that they didn't jump, then at that point, Natalia's life would have been saved. You know, I don't understand how the media is trying to blame the woman. First of all, she didn't even have to go up there and say anything to those teenagers. She went up there, she warned them, and basically her warning came to pass. That was on Natalia. She chose to jump. The woman didn't push her. That was on her. She made that decision, and unfortunately for her, it was a faithful decision. But for the family to be trying to blame the Good Samaritan who went up there to try and warn them not to do this, to me, is just ridiculous. And it makes it sound like they're trying to put the blame on somebody else as opposed to taking personal responsibility for what their child did. You know, kids need to learn from stuff like this. I don't understand this generation where they're just so willing to test death. This is no different than kids who will sit down a railroad track, you know, waiting for a train and then move at the last second. You know, we've had cases of this over the past few years of people jumping subway tracks. And as we all know, those subway tracks, you know, have high voltage electricity. One wrong slip, you can be electrocuted to death. You know, I don't understand why people are doing this as opposed to taking the safe route, going up from the subway, crossing the street, and then going on to the other side, you know? So you just have a lot of kids out here who are daredevils and who think that they're invincible. But unfortunately for Natalia, she found out the hard way that, you know, life is short, you're not invincible, the human body is very fragile, and one wrong move, one wrong mistake, can take you away from your family and from your loved ones. So rest in peace to her, you know, I definitely feel bad for the family, but I do not think it's okay for the media and the family to blame the person who went up there to tell her not to go jump. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story that's once again coming from my fifth favorite state, nutty ass New York. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelyt.com to purchase any merchandise 
Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.